Hi everyone, this video will be focusing on one of my highly requested videos and these are the new Petty Petta Color Fit Tint Water Gel. They are not quite new but I finally got my hands on all 7 shades because the last shade was actually really hard to get. So basically this is a tint and it's supposed to give you a vivid, powerful, juicy color payoff. And I have to show you the packaging because the packaging is so adorable. I think it's supposed to be like a juice bottle packaging I guess. So here are all the tints as you can see, all the colors have very different and the numbers are being labeled at the back rather than at the bottom and the applicator is just your usual standard round applicator now i'm going to go through all the colors one by one and i'm going to show you how they look like as a gradation and as a fuller lip as well as showing you how they look like on the model itself first of all i have to say for the formula it's definitely a water gel formula which means that when you apply it is quite liquidy which means it is quite watery as well so do take your time I'm using this and I noticed that the applicator do absorb a lot of the tin so to be honest like one um one touch of the applicator onto your lips can actually fill up almost the entire of your lips depending how you want it and to be honest I actually do like them using them as a fuller lip because they look so amazing and I really like the first shade however this first shade here it is a dark red color but as you can see it does show some of my dry patches on the bottom and I did export my lips as well but I do have really dry lips but the rest of the colors does not show any of my dry patches which is amazing and number two this one it is called cherry press and this one is supposed to be one of the red shades as well and this one I call it like a fire red because it's just yes yeah, a fire red and the gradation is beautiful but I noticed that this one it gives you a really heavy stain and it leaves like a red stain um, on your lips now I noticed with this all the seven shades their focus is for both warm tone and um, cool tone as uh, skin tone I mean so different shades i'll be telling you um i'll tell you which one suit for the warm skin tone and which one for the cool skin tone so for this particular shade it you know it matches for anyone with the different skin tone and the next one this is number three and this one is a beautiful pink color which i really like but this one also have a red tone and this one leave a huge pink stain on your lips okay like big big stain now i forgot to mention that the first shade number one beat press this one is a perfect mlbb shades for cool skin tones if you are wondering what mlbb means it means my lips but better which means that you know it matches the lips you know the color of your lips but it looks much more better so you know that's what it means so yeah number one suits for those who have cool skin tone now the next shade is number four and i call this like oh before I show you, I'm just showing you the stain. So yeah, you can see it's a big pink stain. Now number four, this is, I feel like this is like an orangey red shade, but it is beautiful. And I feel like this one actually makes my lips look really plump. Actually, I feel like most of this lip tint, somehow it makes my lips look way plumper than usual. I mean, my lips are not plump, but it actually makes my lips look so... I don't know like it just looks amazing and really round and plump like the model itself I don't think it have any plumping effect but it looks amazing especially this shade usually I don't like orangey shade because I feel like it doesn't really match my skin tone but this one looks amazing soon I'll be showing you how it looks like in daylight and it looks so much better and it matches more to the model rather than the artificial lighting hence why I love my um, current setting at the moment because I can film during the day which means I can show you both artificial lighting and day lighting now next one this is number five and this one i feel like this is a reddish brownish shade and this one is perfect for those who have warm skin tone so if you have warm skin tone this would some of you might be your mlbb shade i know on this particular clip it looks like a reddish shade but don't worry like in the daylight setting you can see how they really look like i mean you know obviously the reflection itself you can see the reddish tone partly because my lips is pretty pigmented but i really like this lip color a lot like it does give you an orange stain but it is a beautiful color look at that it looks amazing on my lips it's like I, it's very hard to describe but it's like a little bit of orangey a little bit of reddish but also like a brownish shade so it's very, very nice i don't know how many times i say very very nice now number six this one is called carrot press now number six this one i don't think it's like a carrot tone for me like this one 
out of all the shades, this is the only shade that doesn't really match the model itself. This one leans more towards the pinkish nudie shade color for me, which I think I actually like, but at the same time, I expected it to be the um like the model itself. But at the end, I still like the outcome anyway. It still look beautiful on me, especially um as a fuller lip. And I'll show you guys how it looks like on daylight as well because it does look amazing. So as I mentioned before, I feel like all of these colors they definitely looks better as a fuller lip. And if you want it to look nicer, I would recommend actually doing putting lip liner under the lip tint. I know you usually don't do that for lip tint but I feel like for this particular lip tint if you don't want it to go all patchy at the end of the day I would definitely put lip liner and the reason why I say that is I'll explain really soon now last shade is the most popular shade out of all of the shades and this was the hardest to get and this one is in number seven red print been pressed which is actually perfect for those who have cool skin tone but i'm telling you this is perfect for any skin tone because it is the perfect mauve pink shade like it's just amazing i love the outcome of it but i do have to tell you this particular shade is a little bit of a hit and miss for me i feel like this one would way more better when do, when i do have a lip liner underneath it looks way nicer at the moment i have nothing underneath but the reason it looks nice at the moment because I have concealer underneath and this is how it looks like after 6 hours so you can see how dry and patchy it looks now so that's why I advise you to actually line your lips and transfer wise it actually doesn't transfer or budge which is amazing which means you can eat and drink and stuff which is really great so these are all how all the colors look like and I really like how different all the colors are they are all really beautiful even though they have a quite a bit of red shade but I still like how different they all are if i would have to choose my favorite color i it was it will be actually quite hard because they are all so different but i would probably say number four number five number six yeah so rating wise longevity i'm just giving three out of five because the outcome of the tint later on doesn't look amazing but yeah it might look nicer with a uh, lip liner underneath pigmentation they are all beautiful very opaque really nice moisture definitely very moisturizing and price the where i got it from is actually on this now, which is actually really great so i'll put in the link down below so i hope you guys enjoyed this review and i'll see you on my next video bye